Hi folks, hope you're doing well. How are you? I just watched a bit of a close-up of that uh, horrendous blast in Beirut. Oh, awful. Absolutely awful. I mean, it must have been, if you were near that, that warehouse, oh, that must have been terrifying. Because that was one heck of a flipping explosion. Over 100 dead and more than 4,000 injured. Well, apparently it's been claimed that um, there were 2,700 tons of ammonium nitrate stored in the warehouse. It wasn't stored securely, and that's what went boom. But when you first see it, oh, Lord, it looks similar to an atom bomb. Now, thankfully, in our lifetime, we've not witnessed anything like that. Yeah. In the late 40s, they saw it in Japan. We thankfully have never seen that. It's not been in well, not in my lifetime. In the lifetime of my grandparents, yeah, they would have maybe been witness to it or certainly have heard of it. It actually happened, but uh, yeah, that was a bad one. When we were it last night, that was a bad one. I mean, thankfully, it was just after 6 p.m. So in Lebanon, so I think. Yeah. So that would mean there wouldn't have been that many people out working. People would have been, although that's a problem, people would have been traveling home, I guess. All right. Because, of course, uh, ammonium nitrate is also used for making bombs, isn't it? You can see why. Apparently, the that, um, that nitrate had been in the warehouse for six years, stored on safely for six years. Nobody picked it up in six years. Nobody noticed that this is dangerous. Yeah, they're going to notice it now, aren't they? Yeah. That's it. I mean, Beirut has suffered over the years. That's a nation that has had you know, years worth of trouble and explosions and you know this. Thankfully, it wasn't a terrorist thing. It wasn't a terrorist attack. That's good. Thankfully, it wasn't an attack on Lebanon by another country. God, that would have been far worse. Um, it was just incompetency that led to this. And again, over 100 dead, 4,000 plus injured because of some incompetent idiot who left that stuff there unsecured. I mean, after a couple of years of it being in the warehouse, surely somebody should have picked it up and said, I didn't pick it up to notice. That what is this stuff still doing here? This is stuff either used as fertilizer or for making bombs. Why on earth have we got it here in the middle of a city? In a flipping warehouse. It shouldn't be anywhere near the city, this stuff. Not this much of it. Yeah. That's it, people miles away were thrown over by the blast. That was one heck of a blast. First one I saw was was a bloke in, in the river. And he was thrown back into his boat. Yeah. And he was a good distance away from it. He was a mile or so away, but again, the sound. You saw the explosion, and then about a second later, boom.
Yeah. Can't imagine the devastation or the terror that people would feel seeing it and feeling it. So pray for the people there. They need your prayer, they really do. They need your prayers and all right. Terrifying situation to say the least. Yeah. Could have been so much worse. I mean it could have been four thousand plus dead. Only a hundred dead with an explosion that big is actually not that bad. It could have been so much worse than what it was. If you just look at the size of that explosion and the sound of it, and you know that that was a big issue. That was a massive explosion. So, yeah, it could have been considerably worse. And we can be incredibly thankful that it wasn't. All right. Oh. Oh, it brings back memories though because even for me as a kid I remember seeing on the news the explosions in London and places like that with the IOA wreaking havoc that they wreak There's an image here. I, I don't know what's going on in this. I will include this uh, video. There's a video here. Beirut, Beirut explosions, scores dead and thousands hurt and blast rips. But the image that you first see on this is a helicopter. There's a basket underneath. And the basket is dropping fire down into the area, which is like... How? What? 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 I'm not seeing it one second. I'm going to go into it. I'm going to turn the sound off for a second. There you go. And I'll try and see what on earth. Oh, the first thing you see is. Oh, gee, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll include this one. This one gives a, the first couple of seconds. You get that blast. And yeah. <sighs> Scary. Scary biscuits. Jesus. That was a good view. Bloody hell. You see the blast there. About 25 seconds in to this clip. Wow. Jesus. A devastation. This one actually shows the streets immediately afterwards. And wow. Oh, my Lord. It's going to take a bit of time to recover from that. That's a certainty. Yeah. Certainly around the area of the blast. Incredible devastation. Bye. Yeah, I feel more so for the older people in this, in this area because you know, they would have been They would have been alive at the time when the bombings were happening years ago. When Beirut was really in the news for the troubles there. And of course, this explosion would have just brought back so many memories of that. You know, so much pain from the past. Incredible. There you go, I'll include that. Now, for some reason, as I say, I was looking at that one because on the, on the image of the video before you go into the video, it showed a helicopter with like, a basket dropping fire on. That wasn't in the footage at all. So why on earth they showed that? Amber! I'm trying to do a video. Pack it up. Scratching where our collar is. 
She seems to wait until I do a video, then she does it. Pack it up, donut. Scratch as much as you like when we're outside and you're having walkies. Do it then. I'm doing a video. How rude. I'm inconsiderate. Really? Jolly rude and inconsiderate there, Amber. Be a good girl. Love you. Love you. Anyway, there's nothing more I can say about that situation. It's a terrible, awful situation. I will include the video. Um, yeah, horrifying, to say the least. And as I say, 20, about 25 seconds into this link, yeah, what's that? And yeah, it's horrifying. It's more... Something like that is far more horrifying than any movie that they make where people are being cut up and you've got this stupid girl screaming her head off as she runs into the wood alone being chased by a killer, even though she could actually go into the city, you know, into the town where she might be rescued by someone, but she happens to run into the blinking woods. Yeah. This is far more scary than that. Way more scary, especially at 25 minutes, 25 seconds in. Oof. That's scary. You take care. God bless. And we'll speak to you soon. And yeah, pray for those people in Netherlands. They need it. Take care, folks. God bless. Bye-bye.